Look at us. I hope we blend in here. Well, the Royal Mansour is a world class luxury hotel. The main lobby is a celebration of Moroccan craftsmanship. They use the traditional materials of hand cut tile, plaster, and carved wood. It just calls you to look closer at it and just get lost in the intricate design. I mean, you really feel like the immense amount of work that's just gone into that space. You arrive here out of the, the plane from New York, from Moscow, from uh, Abu Dhabi or Dubai, and you enter a completely different world, and you don't want to leave. You know, I can see now why Marrakesh is called the Red City. Yeah, and the whole property is laid out like a Medina. So we're a Medina within the Medina. That's full of uh, fruit trees, 100-year-old olive trees and almond trees. And this is the uh, key feature of every Riyadh, which is called a pasio. Good morning, Amira. Good morning, Ma. Would you like to have some milk? Yes, please. How long have you been working here? I've been working for, for two years, including my studies at the uh, Butler's Academy. Ah. What are your responsibilities as a butler here? Uh, we make reservations for the guests, we coordinate with the other service, and we make decorations for the guests. Interesting. May I just ask you one more question? What is your beautiful uniform about? It's a traditional battle uniform in Morocco. Interesting, thank you. So what I noticed during our stay here was that all the employees wear so different uniforms and finding out that they're from several Moroccan traditions. back to the room and found my bracelets which I just had tossed onto the dresser so neatly laid out on a handkerchief and also my phone cable rolled up and very neatly held together by this little leather strap. The butlers learned that very specific attention to personal detail after graduating from the Butler Academy here at the Royal Mansour. On se met derrière le fauteuil, voilà. On va poser le verre au niveau du couteau, voilà, et on le décale légèrement sur la gauche, toujours avec le logo face à l'autre. On va mettre la décoration florale au centre de la table, qui est une petite touche de couleur quand même. L'arrangement des fleurs fait partie des rituels majordomes. Il faut toujours créer une ambiance agréable pour nos hôtes au Royal Mansour. Uh, I, I just w making sure that I could always be hungry <laughs> anytime food was available um, because there's just so much of it that's good. Um, breakfast is, you know, is kind of my favorite, but just the variety in terms of the Moroccan food specifically available. And then, of course, the great Italian food uh, that we had. Uh, yeah, I, I just needed to burn more calories so that I could keep eating. Yeah, I'm really glad that we got to meet some of the staff, though. I know. Does it make you more comfortable here? Yeah, I'm really getting a sense that there's like a pride and purpose in what they do. This is cool. Yeah, I really feel like they enjoy working here a lot. Yeah. Listen. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, we're two minutes away from like the old Medina in Ketubia, right? Yeah. It's really close. So what I really enjoyed about our stay here was that I got to try out so many new things. For example, the clay workshop. And actually, this is the result. We made a little vase, so <laughs> I really like that. 
and um, we did calligraphy, which I've never done before, and also the detox smoothie workshop, where I learned what herbs I can use, what vegetables I can use in a smoothie to have like a real good detox effect. Wow. <laughs> Oh wow, look, this looks like an origami. Uh, or feels like it's the little mini Riyadh thing happening, right? And look, it's like the design of the mosaic tile. So I had a very personal experience in the spa. We actually started with a wellness consult, which gave us a suggestion of treatments specific to our very individual needs. So I did the Watsu, which is this, um, for me it was like being held for 45 minutes, being twisted and contorted and stretched, and I was so relaxed afterwards. Singing bowls took the relaxation on like an atomic level or a cellular level. Um, this arrangement of bowls being played and then played on you and around you and the vibrations just going to the inside of your bones. It was amazing. Uh, this is my first time at a three-star Michelin Italian restaurant. What about you? Actually, I'm a little nervous. Are you nervous because is there going to be a test or something? It feels this, like it. It feels like I mean, it's, it's a little... It looks amazing. Yeah. Let's try this little baby. Mm. Not too spicy? Mm -mm. Delicious? It is delicious. Mis à part l'architecture, c'est aussi la qualité du service et la qualité de la restauration euh, au niveau culinaire de cet établissement. Euh, Lorsqu'on organise des événements, pour nous, c'est un petit peu une histoire qu'on raconte. These little sweets are so delicious. Yeah, these cream puffs are excellent. C'est vraiment un, un établissement euh, qui, qui regorge d'endroits où il, finalement il ne faut pas grand chose pour créer la magie parce que l'architecture est, est tellement magique que finalement on n'a pas besoin de beaucoup de maquillage pour, euh, pour créer cette, cette féerie. So I started out uh, not really sure how I could fit in or feeling comfortable in a place with such, just such obvious luxury and uh, attention to detail. And I found it to be the most relaxing and intimate and kind of close experience to have in a place that I now don't want to leave. Honestly, I'm considering moving in.